Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to talk about a little bit of heaven. <laughs> and it actually came to me the other day because I was enjoying sitting outside and having an early morning cup of tea. And I just realised how incredibly heavenly that particular moment was. And it made me think about all the things that I suppose we strive for or we work towards or we expect out of life. You know, we, I mean, my kids have actually, my youngest one has just done his A-levels. So, you know, that whole sort of trajectory of schooling and education and then university and then jobs and then the position you want in your job and the amount you want to earn and you know the relationship you want and the house and the car and the this and the that and everything else and it made me realize that actually heaven can be found in those little moments in the little moments like sitting early early in the morning with a cup of tea and just enjoying the peace and quiet um, another thing that i love as well is um sometimes i go running early in the mornings and see early mornings are generally really good for me <laughs> and and just the the sort of the beauty before the day fu fully wakes up it's something that's completely free it costs you nothing and yet it is just an exquisite experience and there's so many of these little moments and if we sort of take the time to truly appreciate them then it's almost to me anyway that it feels like life suddenly has a much richer deeper kind of experience to it it loses all the striving and the it loses all the striving and the expectation of what it is you should want um i remember for quite a while thinking that um i was expected to live, deliver on something in life that you know there was an expectation of what i would achieve in life but actually there's no expectation other than your expectation Yes, you might have parents that think, you know, that you should um, accomplish something or teachers or um, friends or partner or whatever else. But ultimately, there is only one person living your life, and that is you. And when you drop all of those expectations, yours included, and you just sit there in the moment, whatever that moment happens to be, there's suddenly an incredible peace. And when you step into that peace, you allow the beauty of that moment to exist. And you know the wonderful thing about it is that no one can ever take that moment away from you. My moment of sitting outside in the early morning with my cup of tea can never be taken from me. It's a beautiful, perfect moment in, in time. And as long as I treasure that memory and I fully appreciate it when it's there, and I think that's the, the most important thing to this, is, that's, is that appreciation. Because... I could have sat outside with my cup of tea and I could have been worrying about what I had to do at work and I could have been worrying about my children and I could have been worrying about my relationships um, and I wouldn't have noticed the perfection of that moment. <laughs> and so it's about learning to step out of the expectations of life, to step out of the worries and the stress and the thoughts and to be totally present in a moment and to see the beauty of that moment and to really appreciate that moment but that takes intention um, and it takes well for me anyway it's taken living consciously sort of shifting out of that ego state where i'm controlled by my subconscious and trying to ensure that i survive um, but surviving isn't fun surviving isn't enjoyable it's it's not fulfilling it's not peaceful, it's not heavenly. Surviving is hard work <laughs> and unpleasant and gruelling. So to be able to enjoy those heavenly moments, it's really important to shift from that subconscious fear-based survival state into a conscious, present, joyful state. And in that joyful state, you can take those little moments. You can sit there and enjoy your cup of tea in the morning or even if you're just driving along the road, just enjoying the music, you can truly be in the moment enjoying the music. Or when you're walking around in nature, just truly enjoying the moment of being in it. If you're in your ego state and your mind is full of thoughts and fear, you could be in the most amazing place in the world with the most amazing experiences and you still wouldn't appreciate it. 
it still wouldn't be a little piece of heaven. But if you're really conscious, and that's not to say that I am perfectly conscious because that's going to sound like what I'm about to say, I've just realised it's going to sound really big headed because I'm not. It's still a journey and I'm on this journey, but I'm just sharing a moment of realisation I've had along this journey. But really, the more conscious you become, the more those little moments like sitting outside with a cup of tea can become those heavenly moments and that make life so much richer and deeper. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you find some heavenly moments in this next week. Um, as usual, there's links to my website where you can contact me, to my um, online courses and to my Ho'oponopono sessions that I do monthly now. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.